counterfeiter from Cuba, right? Well, Sal spent a couple of months trying to print the money himself, but none of it was worth a damn. The color was wrong, printing was cockeyed, you name it. He needed someone who knew what the fuck they were doing. So he used his connections and found a man named Alvarez. And this Alvarez was also counterfeiting money for Castro. Most of our enemies counterfeit American money. Hell, some of our allies do too. Sorry, he's gone. What do you mean, he's gone? All you had to do is drive down to the goddamn lighthouse and pick him up. It's not my fault Alvarez is running all over the goddamn place. I wanted to lock his ass up, but you wouldn't hear of it. The last thing we need is Zaraga finding out that we treated his nephew like dog shit. You understand? Then Lincoln Clay comes in shooting the shit out of everything. Lincoln Clay. Lincoln Clay. I'm so sick and fucking tired of hearing about this cocksucker. He's just one man. A fucking nigga. We're skating a thin line here, Tommy. You understand? This thing falls apart. We fucked all of us. So, what the fuck would you do? What the fuck would I do? Listen here. This ain't rocket science. If that fucking nigga got to Alvarez, it means he knows about the place. He's gonna come after him. You understand? Get your ass down to that motherfucking gym and protect them. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. This shit ends right here, right now. No more fuck-ups. <sighs> Fuck me. According to these reports, Tommy Marcano had the money press in a boxing gym he operated. Tommy knew Lincoln was coming for the plates, but he felt he had to keep up appearances. The second he started canceling fights and shutting the place down was the second people started thinking he was out of his league. He wasn't about to allow that to happen. How did Lincoln Clay gain access to the gym? He had me track down a man named Alcy Bennett. Alcy is a small-time hustler that worked for Sammy until he double-crossed him and was kicked out of the hollow. After that, he scratched out a living recruiting fighters for Tommy's jungle fights. If he vouched for Lincoln at the door, Lincoln could get in without a big ruckus. Hold up, Alcy. Who the fuck's this? This? This is Jack Knapp Johnson. What's he here for? Fuck you mean, what he here for? We here to fight, boy. Gotta search him. No weapons allowed. Do what you gotta do. Watch where you put your hands, motherfucker. Save it for the ring, dipshit. Go ahead. Locker room's down here on the end. What good is this gun if I'm shooting back, boys. it? Motherfucker needs a doctor. Just dump him in an alley. Let nature take its course. You good now. Go on. How you, Neville? Where you at, LC? All right. I gotta go make the arrangements. Give them your name and such. You go on and get changed. Who you got with you tonight, Elsie? New guy. New guy looks tough, but my money's staying on the brawler. I gotta ask you something, Elsie. What's that? Do all you niggas love beating the fuck out of each other? <laughs> nah, we'll beat the fuck out of anyone. <laughs> Even you. So what happens if we get caught? Probably what you think. <sighs> For a chance to go home again, it's worth it. No matter what happens, we should go. This is it. You nervous? Should I be? Guess that depends on where all this ends. You're gonna head through these doors and they announce your name. Then make your way to your corner. Where are you going? Oh, I'll meet you there. This part of the show is all about you. They love showing off their fighting niggas. Go on, they're waiting on you. And the jungle fights continue, boys! The next challenger to face Nick Boom Boom Beaumont comes in at over six feet tall, weighing approximately 220 pounds. This is Jack Knife Johnson!
Motherfuckers? Well, yeah. So how do I beat him? You hit him really, really hard. Now, you head on back to the locker room and collect your winnings. Where are you heading? Me? I got business to attend to. Few niggas really know how to brawl. Uh, my respect, that's for fucking sure. You must think I'm some kind of goddamn moron coming in here like you did. I've never been one to shy away from a calculated risk. Maybe you should have. I'll mix some vegetable oil in. Makes the gasoline thick, sticky. We just gonna let it soak in a little bit. Work his way into every nook and cranny. That way when I light it, that shit's gonna burn like napalm. And you, you are gonna hurt like no one's hurt before. Fuck you. Guess you ready to die. You still be conscious as the flames creep up your legs. But as they burn, <coughs> you be hit in the gut with a sickening revelation. Before you die, you gonna feel your peck up burn. It's gonna curl and twist. <coughs> Ventilate that asshole! Do this. 
We can work something out. Only thing needs working out of your fuse. <laughs> So that's that, then. Sure looks that way. You know, Sal wanted me to go to law school. Work for some big company. Maybe run for office. Do something decent with your goddamn life, you understand? Should've listened to him. It's in the blood, you know. Yeah. You are who you are. No point arguing with yourself about it. Fuck you. I can't go out like this. Not like this! Don't worry. Lou and Sal will be along shortly. Gonna feed you no, to my no, fucking no. home. Come back! Ah! 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 Time to die! See? Ah! Get me out of here! Look what the cat ah! 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 I'm not ready to die. Come <laughs> on. 
done. I got that cocksucker. Come on! 